All right, so last episode we ended up at 1351 in this Road to Rank 1 series. Uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the game so far. Let's get right into the next three matches and see how they go. Hopefully we can keep this win streak going. All right, we got our first match. We got Buzz, 1272. Pretty good opponent. CRL Fall Champion. See this goes. Should be able to hold possession here. It's pretty far away from the ball, so I have some space to work with here. Nice, good flick. Pretty good start. So yeah, to start off this video, I'd probably like want to say there's one key factor to winning, especially one v one games. Uh, it comes down to possession. Uh, just being able to hold possession. Player who has more possession is probably going to win more games. Just how it is. There we go. So, so far I've been able to hold him to 0-0 zero, zero here. Just by having all the possession. He hasn't really been able to get to the, near the ball without me like outplaying him. Should have known he was going to challenge me there. That was pretty bad by me. We'll probably score this, yeah. Like I, I should have should have boosted a little bit more to get around the ball, and then I could have popped off the wall around him because he was challenging pretty wide. It's not in. Should be all right. He's gonna get the boost before me, so I'm gonna focus on the ball first. There we go. If he takes the ball here, should be all right. Make it awkward for him to clear well. There we go. Let's hold a good 50-50. So he has possession here, but it's not too bad. I can just get boost beds. Okay, so he went for the boost. I could have shot that if I got it off the wall, but it just wouldn't pop off the wall enough. That was weird. Should be alright though. Get the boost and the ball. So he missed the boost at the start. Good save. I can force the ball out to me. Now he's pretty low. He has to back off. He's not really sure what he wants to do here. The last time he stayed patient on the ball. Should be right. He's pretty low, so he has to waste some of his boost just to clear the ball out. And that should be open for me. It's a pretty bad shot, but <clears throat> I have lots of time to work with since he just booms the ball out to the ceiling. If he wants to clear that, he has to pop it out more laterally instead of towards the ceiling because then it, it flies over and it doesn't come back down to the ground for me to shoot. Now let's see how this kickoff goes. He's been going to the right most of the time, so I change it up. There we go. Yeah, he's not challenging those very good. Um, the main reason why these are going in is because he's, he's coming directly at me. Instead of taking a wider approach. So every time I'm just flicking it to the left, he just keeps on pushing right towards the ball. All I have to do is just get a light flick over to the side. And sometimes it's good to not even like go towards target on those, because all I have to do is just get it over the player. Which comes back to that whole possession thing that I was talking about. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Yes, yeah, so the whole possession thing I was talking about is like if you can just hold possession, no matter what that is, like a, a big strategy nowadays in Rocket League is to just play it around your opponent uh, and just hold onto the ball. You'll get a lot more opportunities. So he's going for that loop pad, that wide pad, so I can just shoot it off the back wall. Make some panic a little bit. I'm gonna fake this ball. There we go. So we'll hold on possession again. See, all I'm doing here is just trying to force him into an awkward position. There we go. Pretty good shot. Pretty happy with this game so far. Playing very clinical. I'm always nervous to play ones games. It's so weird. Like I'm six one up, and I can I can still tell that I might lose this game. That was a good attempt on that. Oh, uh, he's got the ball. He's got like no boost here. I don't care if he really bumps me here because he's not. He's not a. Uh, he has no boost, so he's not able to bump me hard enough to be dangerous. 
Alright, we've got another opponent around 1270 again, so this is Heck. I think he's is he in the RLCS? I can't remember. There we go, that's one flick. I don't remember if this, this guy's on the in the RLCS. I think he might be. Um or did he not make it? I don't remember. I think he's on Stromboli. Two solid kickoffs so far. Um yeah, I don't quite remember. I haven't really played obviously a lot of the NA teams because I'm not on an NA team NA team right now, but I do recognize the name. So I get the boost before him, just now he's stuck with zero. Call him out. Put it behind him so it's really awkward. He's zero zero boost, so all I have to do is just hold on to the boost here. Should be fine. There we go. Pop it up high. Just the flick it to the side. Take the boost. Oh, I almost got the opening. He's going to get the boost before me here. But I got a kill on him so I can get the boost. Should be a good enough shot. Yeah, he's low. So I can't, can't, he can't really do much there when he spawns. I was hoping he spawned on the other side. But in him spawning on this side it actually makes it a little more awkward for him because he can't get the boost since it's already gone. And uh, I can just take a shot off the chip. Oh, good save. We get the boost from him again. Maybe taking a minute shot off the backboard. It's not a great play by me. He's probably going to score. Oh, he decided to go for the boost instead. That's fine. There we go. Pop it off the wall, make it really awkward. There we go. Try to demo him if I can. So I can't demo him, so that means I'm gonna go for the mid boost and then just wait for his play out here. Interesting. All right, so he's low. He has like probably like 40 boost. Take an immediate shot, see what he can do pretty far so that means I can get his boost again take this boost bring it back he's gonna try and demo me that's fine should be able to chip it in there we go got the kill not too bad all right that was quick I <laughs> did not expect that to be such a fast game but uh played pretty strong there like just basically came out swinging <laughs> off those two kickoffs and then some good possessions all right we got the last game here we got buzz again it's now 1257 I don't know if I think he might have played a different game before me because uh I don't think I dropped him like 14 points. I think he played two. Just gonna focus on these boosts here. This could be a sh good shot from him. Probably not fast enough to score. So I'm actually gonna fake this ball here. And then go for the boost. Make it really awkward for him. It's a good save though. I'll fake the shot so he backs off. Then I can stay with the ball. There we go. Bad shot. Oh, he's not there. Okay, that was really strange. I wasn't sure what he was doing there. Okay, so that was a bad touch by me because it gets him boost possession over me. So I need to be really careful with this. He has possession this whole time. There's no point in me even getting closer. Take this boost. Not really focused on the ball right now. Go for the demo on me, so he used a bit of boost just to get close to me. It's a good touch. Oh, that's a weird own goal. <laughs> that was really strange. Try to get over him because he was going for the demo, and then I uh, ended up own goaling on the back end. Unfortunate. Probably could have approached that a little better. There we go. Good possession. not a great hit. Put it right to him. Make sure I don't rush these. Alright, that's fine. He goes for the boost. He's in a weird spot. Flicks it away. That's fine. We're going to go immediately, which is fine. Pop it off backboard. It's a good shot, but it's a little too high. Ooh. There we go. Overcommitted just a little bit too much. Trying to pressure me. Um, he could have probably gotten a shot there. He just popped it a little bit too high. If he just put, pops it over me instead of tries to shoot, 
Hopefully I'm gonna go for him. There we go, good possession. Should be top left. Yeah, nice. Just pushed out a little bit too far for that boost while I have space to do a half volley. Pretty good first touch off the side wall to so give me that space to shoot it like that. It's a good hit. Shouldn't go directly on net like this, really bad. Yeah. Shouldn't really go uh, shadowing in a line like that. You want to be facing sideways a little bit to be able to make a change of direction. So that's on, my, on me there to go back, back on net the way I did. So, he probably could have taken that boost from me. But he decided not to, I guess. Oh. I'll take boost again. Press knife that bottom left corner. Good save. That boost might spawn for him, which sucks. Interesting. Once again, I have boost possession. Wow. Surprised he challenged that. I should have uh, probably popped it around him. Gotten a free goal there. Wasted a lot of boost. Probably gonna go for the ball too, but I wanted to focus on boost once again. Nice, pretty low. I haven't done this against him yet, so I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, he fell off the. <laughs> he fell off the post. Okay, so it didn't even matter. Uh, I was just gonna try and do an air drill bump, uh, since I haven't tried that one on him yet. Yet, to see how we would defend it. It's fine. He's low boost, so I can get the boot the ball first. He's gonna snipe at bottom left, and yeah, that was not what I wanted, but it ended up working. Oh boy. Mechanics. Probably could have sniped that hard enough that he couldn't get to it, but it works out. Good save. Once again, he's low boost. Just forced him into a position where he can't really do much. And I can see that he's been challenging early on those, so if I just do an early change up on the flick. To get me the ball over him. And that's exactly what happened. It's all about adapting and uh, just, you know, figuring out a way to keep keep that possession to make shots. The more possession you have, the easier it is to pressure an opponent. Should be on target. Should be it. There we go. So yeah, this this episode's pretty much all been just about how possession can get you wins, get you uh, get you shot opportunities usually how I play around the game in general. That's a bad 50. Oops. Um, helps me, you know, learn how to position and stuff. There we go. Once again, just focusing on possession. Now, possession doesn't just mean the ball, too. It could mean, like, pressure on, on uh, the boosts and stuff. There we go. Nice quick game. Sorry for the quicker episode today, guys. Uh, I can't really do anything about the forfeits. <laughs> but I was looking at Ocalid's rank being like, I think, 200 points above me. And I might have to grind some of this on stream or something. I don't want this season, I mean, the uh, this series to be going on too long or dragging on too long. Uh, especially with, like, down the road, or there could be some losses and stuff. Fliptastic. Nice. So I'll see what I want to do with that. Um, we're getting about, like, six to seven points every match. And uh, that could take a long time. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the episode regardless. Uh, I know you guys have been asking for another ra Road to Rank 1 episode for a while. Uh, I know the other, the other episode was like four days ago, five days ago. All right, so so far we're ranked 57 with 1370. It's pretty good so far. I mean, seven episodes in, we're already almost at the top 50 mark. I probably would have been top 50 if I recorded this a while ago at this rank or MMR just because I waited like four or five days. So people got more, more MMR up the leaderboard. But hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. Um, let me know what else you guys want to see. Hope you guys enjoyed the tetherball match uh, and the map. And we'll be having a pro tetherball match out quite soon, either tomorrow or the next day. Until next time, catch you guys later.